friends. This is another quick and easy recipe. So I'm making tom yum soup here. You can switch up the ingredients for whatever you like, but there's a few key ones that I want to point out that will be perfect in tom yum. So this, I'd be making a chicken one. You can switch up the protein or have no protein, just do the veggies. That's fine too, but you definitely want some galangal, which is like a Thai ginger. It doesn't taste like regular ginger. It's got almost like a horseradishy spice kick to it. And then some kefir lime leaves. These ones I found at my Asian grocery store, but I also find them at my regular grocery store, um, but they're dried. And either way, it works fine. These are fresh. Basil leaves. I'm using just regular basil, but if you have Thai basil, even better. The green onion. And then the lemongrass, that's the other one you definitely want to have. So I'm just using about, I'd say about a quarter of a stalk. And I do like to slice them up into little ringlets. And the ringlets all come apart and that'll all infuse into the soup. You can eat it, but they are quite tough and fibrous. So I just, I don't eat them. I can eat around them. It's up to you. It's not wrong to eat them. And of course, Thai chili for spice. We're going Thai. Now with Thai cuisine, one thing I learned is that they like their onions to be not fully cooked, like they like it to have a little bit of bite. So we're going to add it just for at the end so it doesn't get too mushy. And the same with the tomato. You don't want to overcook things. Alright, here we go. So I'm using mushroom broth here, but any broth will work. Chicken or just veggie broth. Whatever you have. And of course, tom yum paste. I find them at my Asian grocery store. But tip, if you have your favorite Thai place that you like to go to, ask them if they'll sell you their tom yum paste. Especially if they make it themselves, because it probably is really good. So have buy the paste from them. That's where I got this paste from. And instead of sugar, I like to use apple juice. And that's it. Let it all come to a boil. Throw in your protein. And all the other ingredients and once your protein is done your soup is done that's it it's so simple right recipe is on the blog as always come say hi and don't forget to like comment subscribe all the things you know how it goes bon appetit